What's the best way to find the floating suitcases? Equip a pirate hat and sail into these areas. The deep ocean, that's usually where they are. We're talking about the, the steamer case, right? Pretty sure they're always located in the deep parts of the ocean. Uh, so you equip the pirate hat to increase your vision and then sail through them. my base. That was a respect kill, using blow darts. So they have 500 health, huh? That's a lot of HP. If they're actually gonna raid your base like that, I think you should... I think they should actually change it so the hound waves come less frequently. So instead of every 3 to 8 days, maybe change it to like... I don't know, 8 to 10 days. And have the, the floaty nights come every 8 to 10 days as well. But on a different timer or something. I don't know. Wow, that's a lot of gears. WX must be really happy right now. They need to make the knights have a melee attack? Yeah, that, that wouldn't be too bad. Though, uh, currently... There's a mob with a melee attack and a ranged attack, and the melee attack has infinite range. If they do give it a melee attack, they need to probably change how boat battle is, like the boat mechanics with accelerating. Because it's really hard to kite in melee range. After all this time, I still haven't gotten used to it. I'm okay with it most of the time, uh, and there's also other ways to get around it, like aggroing with a ranged weapon and then going melee. So there is some counterplay to it, but that's still kind of annoying. I would assume that people that are complaining about certain things, they probably have a bigger opinion on it. Like, there's no counterplay to anything, blah 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 blah. You said earlier that two characters are OP. Which are these? I said two characters are OP and Invisible Ink. Uh, but I did say that Wigfred was OP in ROG. I was talking about Clay in general, how they balance things, and their other game, Invisible Ink, I played for a really long time as well. And uh, there were some issues with it. Why do I find base building hard and shipwrecked? Because once the windy season comes around, uh, I'm not sure if you were here earlier. I talked about it a lot, like three different times now. But I guess I'll say it again. When the windy season comes around and the hail drops, the hail gets dragged through the sandbags and it rips your sandbags apart. And this is because sandbags are now targetable and have HP. So. In order to fix the issue of people using fire traps, they nerfed base building indirectly. And you can't use stone walls, the stone walls also get broken down because they have a health value. I'm running out of food because I'm staying on my base not doing anything. I have to do something. I've been talking a lot today. I'm doing like nothing a lot today. Fire trap is when you trap yourself in like a little cage, like the monkey cage or the crab cage that I had. And then you had some way of burning uh, outside enemies. There's a, there's a variety of different ways to do it. But basically because the sandbags had zero health. Um, they would never die, so the fires would just continue burning and burning and burning until all the enemies died. 
It's a really boring way to survive. I don't like that at all. And I would probably never do it. But uh, for people who aren't as comfortable with kiting or uh, managing other things, then it's, it's a viable option for them. Or it was. Not anymore. I mean, you can still do it. Technically, you can still do it. Uh, it's just harder. More maintenance is involved. Hello, good day. Uh, let's see, I have a whale over here. I don't know if it's ready. I need the whales for jerky. In the dry, in the wet season, this season, you need to actually kill a lot of the whales, or you need to use jerky, because once your crock pots and your other machines go bad, jerky is one of the best things, which is really ironic. I say this every time. It's ironic that jerky is probably the best item for you to survive on in the wet season. So I'll head there during the day. I control that too. They should make sandbags flammable, but not have health of value? No, I, yeah. You should you should have wind not be able to destroy walls. That's much that's a much better fix. The thing with uh, making sandbags flammable is if something gets dragged here through this thing and it hits my sandbag, then my entire base goes up in flames. Which is pretty ridiculous. I'm also worried about that, kind of. Because if the walls break down, then anything that gets dragged through the fire and hits my base will just ignite everything. There's no flingo inside the base, so there's no saving it. Anything flammable inside the chest will also uh, become trash. Is there anything to do here? I might just take a detour there. I'm too lazy to, to make monkey pop right now. Banana pop. I love these things though. These new shadow creatures are a really cool addition to the game. And I hope they add more. So it's the uh, fire season now. Gotta kill this mosquito, I think. They didn't fix Pack and Bagums either. It's so stupid. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let it sting. The problem with shadow creatures right now is that you can easily counter them. So if this thing becomes a problem, you just jump onto uh, land, and then the other ones instantly spawn. This one instantly despawns. Now the other issue is, especially this, uh, if you have, let's say, double terror beaks on land, and you jump on the ocean, both terror beaks die, just like that. Bioluminescence, I think it's deep sea, but it could be other places. It's only at night, so it's it's hard to tell. Never really paid attention. So if you're a person who can't deal with two terror beaks at the moment and you have a boat nearby, just hop on the boat and you'll be fine. Oh, okay, never mind. Is the new sail better than the cloth one? I have no idea. I'm just testing it out. It looks kind of weird, but it is make it made out of snake skin. Alright, so the frequency of 
the volcano strikes is higher now. Which means I shouldn't even be out here, but I just want to turn in this stuff right now. I could be killing myself. I could be killing my base. Uh, let's see. What did this say? It says something about the wind. Heavy duty wind catcher. Maybe the durability drops slower, or maybe it's better inside the wind. Uh, you don't get affected as much. That's what I assume. So it's probably better. Uh, the brain of thought you make things without a machine. You don't prototype them. Are you kidding me? He's been stuck here the whole time? The difference between making something and prototyping something. I'll show you when I get back to my base. The hound wave should be in about four days? Up to four days. So anytime between now and four days, I think. You always want to keep a timer on the hound wave. It's not difficult. People just don't do it. Uh, by old standards, the volcano begins in... Oh, it just started bloating. Okay, I'll come back here later. By old standards, the volcano begins in about four days from now. The new one, I don't know what it is, if it is different at all. Uh, I'm assuming it is. What do I want for Christmas? Uh, I don't really know. I was never much for gifts. Oh, they also need to make it so these bubbles can't go inside the fog. Something like this. Oh, rip. Oh, the waves look different now. Oh, so you can ride them more easily now. Oh, that's a good change. That is a really, really good change. Because before it wasn't very clear how to ride the waves. But now it's super clear. I understand why the octopus can't be spammed, though. Because you can get a lot of really cool stuff. And a lot of doubloons. Any interesting games during Christmas? Not really. Don't starve shipwrecked. I like this change a lot, the, the wave change. Really good change. Probably one of the best changes this patch. But that's not saying much. They could make it so that if you spam him, he rains seaweed. I don't like seaweed. I could see that how, how that can be exploited, though. Because you can actually get a lot of meat early, especially fish meat. I guess fish meat is just better than seaweed, though. So maybe it's not that exploitable. It would be good for making anti-venom, though. Anti-venom is something that people need a lot of, just in case. Even if you don't get poisoned a lot, it's always a good idea to have more anti-venom. Do they also need to fix the troll that's not sinking? Yes, of course they do. It's obviously a bug. 
Troll Net's not sinking is actually really annoying. If he throws hail at you, that'd be really annoying. The boat lantern lasts longer now, so... This might only decay, like... 7-8%? Maybe less, overnight. Yeah, this wave change is amazing. I like it a lot. But I gotta head home right after I turn in again. Oh, maybe not 8%. Maybe 10%. 10 or 11%. The Krampusak floats now. Oh, okay. Well, I was hunting it anyway, whenever I got the chance. The shark fins. 